Yeah, we back again. Tron and Kimberly, Moses. Welcome to Team Moses Vlogs, where you watch us do life and enjoy marriage on our journey. I love you, you love me. I love you, you love me. I got you back, baby. I got you back, baby. I love you, you love me. I love you, you love me. What's up team? So we are in Walmart uh, and we're just getting some stuff. Mariah, she can do fingernails really good now. So she likes to design. So that's what we're doing. She just getting some stuff for her fingernails. So she learned how to put the acrylic on or just the fake nails and she's starting to learn how to do designs. So. What's she saying? So you guys, just pulled up to the house. It's been a long day. Uh, it's the first day of school for the children. So I dropped them off early this morning uh, and I went to go get an oil change. I needed an oil change. And the lady told me that my car battery is weak. So I'm okay, whatever. Um, I have a jump starter. So ever since I had this car, I've been having like a weak battery problem. But I think it's been to God since I moved to South Carolina. My battery has been good. But in Colorado, in that cold weather and that snow, it it just killed like my battery all the time. So uh, tomorrow, which is, and I think the, the cows are out. <laughs> I'm trying to do a video, talk to you guys. And the cows got off the fence. Yeah. The cows and the horses. Lord, you can kind of see them from back there. Yeah. So they're my neighbor, and I guess he got some help. They're trying to put the cows in. The goats always in our yard. The cows always in our yard. The, 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 the dogs always in our yard. Lord. 
and I wanted to have a garden out here, but like, it's not the place. So, anywho, you guys, but I went to the store and I got a big pot. Let me show you this pot. Yeah, um, so we can cook some chili uh, for tomorrow. And I got Babe something really special. Uh, he's into scents. He like different uh, colognes. So this is a new one. It's called. You probably can't see that too good. It's called Kin Kin of Coal, Black by Kin of Coal. Yeah. Then I got the matching. Well, this ain't the matching scent, but it's close to its vintage black. They had black spray. Look at the horse, you guys. It's a horse. Oh my God, the horse is in my yard. <laughs> yeah, the horse is out. The pony would just. Ee -ee. Yeah, this is crazy. I gotta get ready to go in the house, you guys. I'm sitting in the car and a, 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 a pony just galloped past me. You're like, really? All right. So anyways, like I said, I like the vintage black better than I like the black all over body spray. So we can do that. So let me show you this cake. So Babe didn't want a regular cake. He wanted cheesecake. He wanted samples. So I got this cake from all these, you guys. $8.99. And it's different samples in here. You have the New York style. You got the strawberry swirl, uh, which you can see it on top. Then they have, which is something really unique, the turtle cake. You know, I never tried that. I'm excited. You know, turtles are my favorite chocolate. Then also, they also have truffle chocolate. So this sounds interesting. So that's what I got. Tomorrow, um, I'm going to start making chili because that's what Babe said he wanted for his birthday he wanted chili so well he likes in his chili he like different kind of beans you guys i only like kidney beans i like either dark or like kidney beans you know my chili is simple i just ground the beef uh saute some bell pepper and uh an onion and then i um add my beans then i let it uh you know put my chili powder um salt pepper and I just put enough, I gotta taste it, you know. I can't tell you how much chili powder, but you gotta put enough in it to make it taste like chili. And then I just let it simmer about 20 minutes, maybe an hour, I haven't cooked it in years. And then I just serve it over rice. But babe, he like different kind of beans he like. Uh, I think he even said he like corn in his chili. I, I like it simple, you know. So tomorrow, uh, babe's gonna let me cook chili my way. Um, oh yeah, I forgot, uh, also, we put diced tomatoes also. Diced tomatoes and tomato sauce. Yeah, so I do that in my chili too. So, yeah, I forgot those ingredients. So I do that, and it's really simple. Yeah, and I feel like simple is better. I never forget, you guys. I went to somebody's house for Thanksgiving, and they wanted to experiment with the macaroni and cheese. And the macaroni and cheese to put cream of chicken, it was disgusting. I feel like on the holidays, you know, keep it simple keep it classic people want classic macaroni and cheese nobody want no cream of chicken macaroni and cheese it was nasty nobody touched it in that the the person uh, my ex-sister-in-law she had a big old pot because nobody it was just nasty nobody ate it so yeah so what i do uh i just keep it simple like if you come to my house you're gonna have classic delicious turkey uh simple macaroni and cheese it's gonna be good you know, uh, you're going to have, you know, just the regular things, collard greens, and I love chitlins for the holidays, a ham, you know, just the simple things. It's not going to be Jamaican, sliced ham, you know, with some kind of glaze. No, just I'll keep it simple, okay? Now, when we're outside of the holidays, then I'll try to experiment with diff different stuff, you know, try to experiment like that, but... Anywho, guys, I'm about to go in this house, and this is a good time to go because I don't see no cows running around, no horses or uh, a pony or the dog. So I'm about to run in there really quickly before it starts getting chaotic again. What's up, team? So I am picking up Motmont. He's still in elementary. Mariah's in middle school. So it's two different schools. And you know, guys, my schedule has been hectic. Because it's like, now the kid's in school. Now I'm like, ah, I'm on their schedule. So I'm going to bed early. I'm waking up super early. So what I decided to do is to be very productive. 
Amen. I cannot neglect the ministry or the call on my life because I'm a, I'm a wife or a mother. So what I decided to do is do early morning prayer calls. So every day, you know, until my conference in October the 20th, we're going to pray. Amen. I have other um, anointed prophets and uh, spiritual daughters that I raise up and I push out. Um, and yeah, and I, I love to impart and I love to push and train. So I got some of my spiritual daughters that's going to help me do this. You know, I'm like, oh, Lord, how am I going to do a prayer call every day, right? I can't do it by myself. It's, the, the vision is big, too, you know, it's bigger than me. Amen. That's the beauty of God. You know, one person can't do everything. So anywho, you guys, so what I decided to do is do prayer calls every day. So this morning was the first time we did a prayer call in a while. And we prayed for an hour in, in tongues. And I used to do this with my students in the School of the Prophets, you know. And my next training is at the conference. So get there. But I'm not going to do another school, like online school for three months, maybe next year, you know. I don't feel led to do that. So anywho, um... It was amazing, this prayer call this morning. The fire of God was strong, and people were blessed. And I call it travail, a time of travailing. So I, I want the Holy Spirit to groan through us and utter. And sometimes the Holy Spirit, you know, he ah cries through me. You know, I'm like, oh, you know, just crying out. And I, I don't know. I can't do it if I tried to do it by myself. But he, he does it. Um so it, it was it was beautiful uh this anointing was strong on, on that call so get there team get there call in the morning support amen start your day off with prayer with me amen be able to call in sometimes if you know if he's available all right so i'm gonna go ahead and end this it's been real it's been fun and i'll see you guys in the next one you. you love me i love you you love me